You guys have been container gardening for years, baby. So I got a few tips and tricks to share with you. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my garden. In today's video, we're getting ready to plant up a beautiful shade container, you guys. We're not throwing shade. We're literally just planting up some beautiful plants for the shade. The good thing about this container is these ingredients for this container can be sourced anywhere, whether it's your local garden center or even your big box stores like Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards or Menards as some of my friends say. And you guys, when we get done, you guys are gonna love this beautiful floral arrangement. Now, this is the container that we're gonna be using. So let's go ahead and get this container unraveled, you guys. All right, so we're gonna be using this beautiful gray terracotta pot, you guys. I'm so obsessed with gray terracotta this season, you guys. I am obsessed with it, do you hear me? Hold on, wait, let me say it again. You guys, look at this beautiful terracotta pot, okay? I love the color variation in it. You guys, look how deep this bowl is. And so that means for us, we can fit a ton of plants in there. And you guys, if you're new to my channel, I love, love, love to contain a garden, but what I love even more than container garden, well, I guess it's one and the same, is I love to stuff these babies full so that way when they start to grow out, let's say I love to healthily stuff them so that way when they start to grow out, everything just feels in so beautiful and you also get instant gratification. Let's get some soil in this baby. And we also have a saucer to go underneath. Now, before we get the soil in there, one of the things that I like to do is I go in and I use a little piece of screen. You can use a smaller chicken wire. And what that does is it allows for your water to go through and it doesn't put you in a situation like if you're using crocs like from terracotta um, or broken terracotta pieces sometimes although they facilitate drainage depending on the size croc if you're only using one and not you know building it up correctly sometimes it can create where your drainage is not that well so by you using the screen piece it sets down and then we're also going to go in to just give us a little bit of added protection we're also going to use a coffee filter now for my containers that are more so long term i will use screen i start them off using the coffee filter and that way it just makes sure we keep the soil on the inside until it gets a chance to kind of conform to the pot and even though it's conformed to the pot, we still have good drainage. You guys, I've been container gardening for years, baby. So I got a few tips and tricks to share with you. All right, so you see how wide this hole is right here? So we're just gonna put that in there. And then we come in with our coffee filter, you guys. And we're just literally going on top of that for a little bit of added protection. So we have our soil in there and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a little bit of slow release fertilizer in there. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to put my plants here and we're going to move the container right here. Okay. So that way it'll be easier for you guys to see the angles. Now 
I have my caladium in the middle here. Now I'm gonna go in with my second plant, it's my fern here. Okay, you guys, now check this out. Now, I am a little bit behind in my plantings for my containers, but I am gonna throw a little bit of blue in there. And you guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop some beautiful pansies in there. Now, granted, all of the plants that I'm using get large they get they're going to fill in and they're going to be large but i'm looking for instant impact now so i don't have to disrupt my color palette what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back in with a blue pansy you guys and by me coming in with the blue pansy is going to give us instant impact and it's also going to give us a twofer now if you guys are new to my channel i do what i like to call twofer so you start off getting one look and then as the plants grow in you end up getting a second look so you get two looks out of the same container one plant phases out and the other plant takes over with this beautiful vigorous growth so let's pop these pansies in here so we're going to turn this around right here i come in here and we're going to place our pansy and that's also going to give us a little bit of a drape you guys now as you guys can see as we turn it around because you're going to be able to see this arrangement from all sides of the table you're going to be able to see it from different angles in the garden to make sure that when you're seeing this arrangement from the various angles i want to make sure you can actually just see the beautiful the colors popping so let's go over these plants that we use and then we're going to get this baby in its place okay so you guys, we use the beautiful caladium. Now, you guys, they have caladiums for sun, they have caladiums for part shade, and they also have caladiums for full shade. So this again is what I said, that you guys are gonna be able to actually take this arrangement here, and you're gonna be able to use this arrangement in the full shade. You're gonna be able to use this arrangement in the full sun or part shade. So it's really fitting for any garden out there, you guys. Can you guys imagine a month from now or two months from now, once this beautiful arrangement starts to just fill in, you have more of the caladium that's showing, the begonia starts to fill out and it's just giving everything. At that point, by then, our pansies have been fizzled away. So they're a non-factor, but Everywhere you see a pansy, we're going to have beautiful growth from our begonias, you guys. I'm just so excited. And one thing about when you use blues, greens, yellow, silver, you guys, they almost illuminate at night. So we have our beautiful caladiums here. Then we come in with our begonia. Then we have our fern. Ah, ah, ah. Now, before you say there is no fern that's full sun, there actually is because you guys, I planted it up last year in my garden. It gave the full entire season and it was beautiful. It came out of the plant can looking luxurious. So you guys go in with a fern and then I just put in a pansy. Now, I have a pansy here right now, but let's say if you're doing this for a full sun arrangement you can easily go in and you could put in a super tunia you could put in a super bell you could put in so many different alternatives you could put in a, a lobularia there are so many different things that you guys can use for this container and you guys you can do this container on the cheap it's going to be beautiful and when your friends come over your good good girlfriends or good good guy friends come over to have tea they're going to love it and everybody is going to want to know what did you use in this container recipe you guys and here it is right here for you now let's get this beauty in its place all right so 
So I'm not gonna use my saucer, but I went ahead and I purchased my saucer at the same time that I purchased my container. The reason being is because there's no guarantee I might be able to come back and get a saucer. So the bottom of my pot fits directly on the face of my saucer and there's no extra gap. Loving this arrangement, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead, click that subscription button because we're gonna have a lot of more content coming just like this. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys in the next one. I would love to hear down in the comment box is your garden giving shade or is your garden giving sun? And I'm not talking about throwing shade, honey. I'm talking about do you have a shade garden? Do you have a part sun garden? Or do you have a full-fledged, full sun garden? Either way, you can use these beautiful plants that we use here to switch out the varieties and you'll have a beautiful container. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!